hello everybody welcome back to my channel happy monday hopefully i'm getting this out by monday may 17th it's actually the 16th and this is actually my second time trying to film a video today it's just kind of been a weird month month and a half i've not been consistent with uploading but i'm officially in summer since uh, uh friday which was like three days ago two days ago two days ago <laughs> I'm going crazy. Basically what I was trying to say in the other video, I was trying to do like a Sunday vlog, but it didn't happen. And now I'm just here chilling in my room. I actually moved back in. My room is looking a little bit nice, um, but I tr I'm i gonna try to do my first reading vlog. I wanted to do a reading vlog starting when I was starting their new series or something like that, but I'm actually just going to be reading a Court of uh, Silver Flames. Hopefully I will finish Hopefully I'll finish this to today, but if I don't, I will um, probably just continue on the vlog tomorrow morning and try to get it uploaded that evening. But yeah, this is my first reading vlog. I don't really know exactly how to do this. I'm, I think I'll just update you guys in certain parts, but um, yeah, this is the fifth installment to the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I'm trying to pick up the box set. Here's the box set. Um, you know what is just frustrating? A quick, a quick thing. Why do people, like, why do they do this? Why do they make it a different size? Like, I wish it was just the same. Like, this is literally, that is a huge difference. Anyways, we on chapter 18 of this, so I feel like this probably isn't the best, um, like, reading vlog you will probably ever see, but I decided it's better to start it now rather than later i think i'll get a little montage of me reading i have been where did my phone go i have been actually going on youtube and just finding like a playlist there is one girl who has a really good playlist let me set you guys down real fast okay that's better um oh actually my phone's about to die so i probably won't listen to music but yeah i'm just gonna read for a little bit basically um, I am going to be talking about this book, so there will be spoilers, but yeah, this is the fifth book of the A Court of Thorn and Rosa series. It follows uh, Feyre's older sister, Nesta, and Ryzen's, like, brother, Cassian, and it's, I, I'm assuming it's a romance story. Basically, already what's happened in, uh, I mean, like, this much of the book that I read is Nessa is just being her prickly self like she normally is. She's sleeping around, she's drinking a lot, she's kind of like going off on the deep end because she witnessed her father dying and she has these like unspoken powers that she doesn't know what she can do with. But um, basically uh, the night court like Feyre, Ryzen, all of them want to step in and try to help her a little bit. And so what they're doing is making her train with Cassian and then work at a library where they're like sexual assault victims. They're actually priest priestess. But um, yeah, so far what's happened is she's been uh, training. She actually started training instead of just sitting on her butt. And she's loving working at the library. Well, she's not loving it, but she really likes this one girl. I don't know why I'm forgetting the one girl's name. That is not good. I guess it doesn't really matter but um yeah that's all that's really happened her and Cassian had a little uh, moment together but nothing really has happened they haven't kissed yet not that I am aware of but yeah that's just like where I'm at in the book nothing crazy has happened but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start reading this and I will update you guys in a little bit start part two it is called blade looks like my camera's about to die i might charge it while i'm reading basically okay guys so it's been a while as you can tell my hair is dry <laughs> but um basically i'm on chapter 41 now i am almost done with the second part i believe um i think chapter 50 is the last chapter of this part that is my goal that i want to get done right now and then i'll probably take a little 
like reading break um i actually just ate dinner i just had some mac and cheese so it was very very good um but yeah i am just chilling a little like update is nessa and cassie and have had sex <laughs> Oh, I feel like a child. But yeah, they did the deed. They actually did it. They've had a lot of like back and forth like, oh, like I'm in debt. So here you go. Anyways, so I'm, like, I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> but um, basically, yeah. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, it's been really good. Nesta found the mask, which is one of the three things that they're searching for in this book, which is like funny because like the mask is on the front of the cover. So I think that is a cute little like, I love little details like that when they tie into the story. But um, I'm trying to think of like important things that have happened. More people have gone to Cassian's training, like some of the priestess and then a girl from Windhaven who got her wings clipped. If you guys have never read the series, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, which is like, I'm kind of sad because I wish I had done a reading vlog for the four other books. But it's fine. You guys can watch um, other like book reviews. I think a hilarious book reviewer, her name is With Cindy, I believe. I don't know. She, she has like an entire playlist about this series. And I highly recommend you to just like watch it. Even if you're not interested in the series just watch it it's hilarious and even though i'm a fan of it she uh cindy is not a fan of it but i still find her videos like hilarious and i really enjoy them but um yeah i'm like very glad with my progress i'd say i'm i'm more than halfway done that's for sure um so yeah i'm just gonna keep on reading my camera died so i don't know what i was saying when i got cut off because that was a while ago but yeah i'm just trying to drink as much water as i possibly can and yeah, I actually had my sister, I think she's going to go to McAllister's, which if you guys don't know, my sister and I both work at McAllister's and I bribed her to, um, or I paid her not, yeah, bribe, paid, same thing, same difference, um, to get me some cookies. So we'll see if she provides. Anyways, I'm going to get to reading. Sorry guys, I'm reading and I just forgot like a big, I feel like so lousy. I'm just like laying down in all of these clips, but it's fine. Um, a big part of this is, like, Cassian and Nesta, like, Nesta said it's just sex. And so, um, I know that's, like, bothering him, and I think it's even, either, what? I think it's even bothering her, but she's just, like, too proud to admit it. And so, I just got reminded, because it just got brought up again, but, um, yeah, I'll let you know how that progresses, because it's just not sex, I swear. Hey guys, I reached um, part three. Also, Gracie um, did end up getting me a cookie. I ate one of them. I don't know where the other one went, but yeah, I am on part three now. Um, basically, what has happened is Nesta told Feyre that she's gonna die, basically, because <laughs> her baby is incompatible with her body. So um, yeah, now her and Cassian went on a hike. I think they went to see um, Nesta, Elaine, and Feyre's father's grave but i'm not really sure that could be totally wrong but um yeah and she just had a breakdown she talked to cassian i think they love each other i'm just waiting to hear it we have this much left i'm going to see how far i can get i want to try to get to maybe part four I'll try to find part four i'll talk to you guys soon Guys, sorry, I'm in the middle of reading. Nessa just found the harp. So basically, in this book, they're trying to find three different things. And there's the harp, the mask, and the crown. Uh, Nessa found... Oh, this is... What? Oh, no. Nessa just found the harp in the prison. And Lance, I don't know that's how you say his name. His cell is open, and that was Cassian's, like, worst prisoner that he ever captured. And so now I'm just reading it. I just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog for a little bit, just like this.
might be a fourth object. I'm so sorry guys, I am just about to reach chapter, or the fourth part. I have to finish this book tonight. Guys, okay, so I was whispering earlier because my sister was in here, but apparently Cassian and Nesta do have a mating bond, which I'm just confused like by the series because that means all three of the Archean, I don't think that's how you say their last name, that means all three of them have a mate, and we're just as like, I thought mating was like rare, but I guess not, but... So apparently she didn't know, but like she she probably did know a little bit, but was just ignore, ignoring it. So her and Cassian, like, they're like, just accept it. Like, I'm your mate. And she's like, no, I hate that word. And then he's like, I didn't want to be shackled to you or something like that. And then they got in a fight. And so she went to Winhaven to hang out with um, Emory, which is an Illyrian. I don't know how to say any of these words, honestly. In my, when I read it, it just, like, my mind just kind of goes, like, Bleh. Anyways, that doesn't make sense. Um, and Gwen also went, and they all got snatched in their bed, and now they're going to participate in the blood rite. Also, sorry, I'm, I keep on holding the camera like this. This is, like, such an unflattering angle. I'll try to do better, but the light is just so weird. But, yeah, I'm on the fourth part, which I don't know how to say that. It's, like, inter interaxia, but that's what she called her sword. And so I'm so excited. I can't. I literally don't know how to act. Um, I'm going to see. This isn't that much, but I want to count how many... Um, chapters are left. I'm going to be finishing this. I will be back probably soon. Alright guys, so I just finished chapter 68 and I almost started crying. Um, so we have a little girl gang going on. The girls that are in the blood right, Gwen, Nesta, and um, Emery. And they just all reveal their trauma. I will say this book does have trigger warnings. Um, just like content with sexual assault and um, abuse and all that type of stuff, but I almost did start crying. It's so good, but yeah, I'm about to start this chapter. Um, it's it's so good. I'm not gonna be able to stop reading it. Um, I feel like it's probably like 9:30. Yeah, 9:31. Okay, cool. But um, yeah, I, I love it so much. It's so good. What I kind of like is it's going between Cassian and Nessa's point of view. And I think that's pretty interesting, and I like it, but, yeah. I'm so sorry. I just started reading, and apparently Eris is, he was a traitor the entire time, I think. I just started reading it, so I don't really know, but I have to go. I have to see what is happening. Wait, actually, I don't think Eris is, was a traitor. I think he is just being controlled by the crown. I don't really know. I'm a little confused, um... Because I'm a little bit more interested in Nesta's story because it keeps on going back and forth. But basically Nesta is going to have to fight a group of men all by herself. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. I can like tell we're, um, we're hitting the, I don't want to say the climax, but like kind of like the, the big scene to the ending. So I'm excited. Is that a climax? I literally read books all the time. I don't, just please ignore me. Okay, so Emery and Gwen, like, beat it, and now Nesta is with Bellius, which is, um, Emery's cousin, who's, like, an a-hole, and she just said, in his, or, in Nesta his, because my mate taught me well, so she's admitting that they're mates. I hate that name, but, like, it, it works for the story, I guess. Anyways. <laughs> Guys, Cassian just showed up. How is that?
Cassian. Cassian's gonna kill her. <gasps> I love it. That is so messed up of me, but what the freak? He is being controlled by the crown. He killed Bellius, and now he said, and now I'm gonna slit your pretty little throat. Eris wasn't a bad guy. Well, he is a bad guy for like the whole more thing, but. <laughs> driving the knife towards his chest but then her her power is apparently erupting i had to stop i gotta keep on reading she gave up her powers to save Feyre, Ryzen, and the baby it was very good i'm just like sad that she had to lose her powers because those powers were dope but like i really do like uh Feyre and Ryzen, so like Anyways, I have three chapters left, so I'm gonna keep on reading. What the frick? <laughs> okay, so she has a little power left. And apparently, um, like, how she saved Feyre was changing her, like, uterus to, like, or, like, anatomy. And she also changed her own. Wow, so I wonder if this is actually the end. I feel like... I feel like she may, guys I finished the book, I didn't say that, I feel like she has to kind of talk about Eris and like more, like, like I need to hear more, I want to know more, I want to know like does Elaine end up with Azariel, 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 I read his name as Azariel but I have no idea what it actually is, like does she end up with him or does she finally end up with her mate Lucian? And then, like, does Moore have a lover, like, a partner? And will she tell people that she is either... I think she's bisexual, but will she tell them that? And then is Eris going to tell Moore why he actually left her instead of taking her in when she had, like, nails in her stomach or whatever? And just, like, I have so many questions, but I really did enjoy this, and... I thought um, it was good. I would definitely recommend A Court of Thorn and Roses. I really, really enjoyed it. I want to read her other book series. I don't even know what it's called. Let's see, uh, the Throne of Glass series. I feel like that would be really, really good. This was a good book. It did take me a little while to read it. Um, really, today was when I finally hopped into it oh, wow i'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about this series for a while anyways guys i have so many books actually i'll end this video with a little book haul because i got some new books so first i went to walmart and i got three books two of them i've already read i just really like having hard copies and so i know i'll read these books again so it's worth the money in my head um so the first one is a silent patient this i think was my first um uh, thriller that I read and I read uh, The Woman in the Window and it's funny I actually listened to The Woman in, window, in the Window but I found this hard copy at um, Goodwill for like literally a dollar so I also got that book and then also speaking of The Window in the The Woman in the Window they came out with the movie on Netflix and I almost finished it all I think I have like 20 minutes left of it I'll probably actually finish that movie after I finish this video anyways um yeah so i got that this was the first psychological thriller i ever read i think i don't know you'll have to check like my what i read this month if you want but it's really good which is crazy because this was his first novel that this author ever wrote and i know he's coming out with a new one or he already has come out with a new one but i'm sure it's really good so i'm glad i have this and then the other book that I've already read, but I, I saw this copy and I was like, I should just get it, is Such a Fun Age. I read this over winter break. I actually listened to it. And this is such a good um, novel. There's another novel like this that is kind of similar, 
I am blanking on the name right now, um, but I really like this. It talks about race, and it's just a different type of story, and it's on Reese's um, Book Club, and I just always love Reese's Book Club, so I thought that would be cool to pick up. Then the third book I got, I think this is another psychological um, thriller. I'm not really sure what this is considered, but it's called Then She Was Gone. It the cover is like stunning. I've seen this at Target a couple times and then I saw it at Walmart and I was just like, I feel like I need to get this. Like something is drawing um towards me. I'm gonna read the back. Um, no one ever just disappears. Ellie Mack was a perfect daughter and then she was gone. Ten years after Ellie's disappearance, her mother Laurel Mack is trying to put her life back together when she meets an unexpectedly charming man in a cafe. Before she knows it, she's meeting Floyd's daughters, and his youngest, Poppy, takes Laurel's breath away. Cause the, because the eerily precious Poppy is a spitting image of Ellie, and now the unanswered questions she's tried so hard to put to rest begin haunting Laurel anew. Where did Ellie go? Did she run away from home, as the police have long expected, or did something more sinister happen? A haunting page turner of sheer perfection. Then she was gone as a gripping, emotional, and emotionally resonant tale of one mother's quest to uncover the clues she failed to recognize and finally discover the truth of what happened to her daughter i feel like it's too easy that poppy is actually ellie like maybe it is that but i just think this is going to be such an interesting read it'll probably take me a while to get to this book just because i have a lot on my tbr but got those from walmart and then in amazon or today from amazon i got two books i got the short second life of brie tanner you guys know me you guys like i love the twilight series i read the books in second grade i watched i went to all the midnight premieres um i had all the barbie dolls actually i didn't have all of them i only had edward and bella but like that's all of them basically sad i don't have those anymore but besides the point basically i'm just obsessed i actually reread all of the novels in january i believe and this is a uh, one book that I had never read. I actually recently read um, Life and Death, and that was another one that I had never read just because it wasn't actually in the story, I guess. I don't know. But um, I always was interested in Brie Tanner, and so I think this will book this little book will be good. It's a novella, yeah. It's a novella, so it's like really short, and I'll probably probably read this in May. Uh, this probably won't be my next book that I read, but. Yeah, I actually also got Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. Um, Maddie Mayo from OK Sis, she has a book club, and this is May Book Club. Last month was The X Talk, which was a super good romance, and I like Sally Thorne. Actually, The Hating Game, I'm, I'm sure you guys know that, it's on my bookshelf, but The Hating Game was like the first uh, novel that got me like really into like spicy romances, you know? And that was also a recommendation from um, maddie mayo but i don't really know anything about this um novel all i know is that i need to read it before may 26th i think no 27th oh that might be wrong just the last thursday of may so honestly this will probably be my next um read that way i am ready for the little um podcast episode about it but yeah, I literally have no room on my shelf like I somehow need to get all of these on my very very full bookshelf I actually think I'm getting a new bookshelf for my birthday so that'll be very exciting but yeah I need to start getting ready for bed because I'm sure it's like 10 yeah it's 10 09 and I need to go so I will talk to you guys soon thanks for watching if you did I know this video was probably very crazy um, I've never done one of these, so I'm not sure if I did it right, but I will definitely be doing more reading vlogs because this just, like, motivated me to read, and I would have been reading anyways, but now I feel like I kind of, like, did two things at once. I filmed the video and also just, like, read. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm acting weird because it's, like, I'm just, like, amped up from that book, but, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for bed, finish the woman in the window i might um have another video coming out i might do like a monday vlog i think i might do that tomorrow we'll see i'm feeling like i want to be vlogging a lot and just get some videos uploaded but yeah i hope you guys are seeing this on may 17th and i'll talk to you guys soon i'm just rambling i need to go peace and love bye guys
Also, read a quarter of the north.